Welcome back to Sturge Tropia. This is Sturge coming to you on the precipice, on the edge of the world. Oh, and, oh, you know, where all these borders meet uh, down in Amathera. But I'm coming to you with a video that's been more than a year in the making. I literally wrote the spreadsheet or compiled the spreadsheet for this more than a year ago in May. So almost almost two years in the making. Crazy business, isn't it? Year and a half. But I want to, uh, while I go run around and do some mining in my fancy gear here, I'm going to sort of detail this to you. What I want to talk about is actually mining finder amplifier efficiency. That's it. That's all I want to talk about. It's because I've been thinking about this for so long and how to use the information that we have, which is very little, uh, about efficiency of the amplifiers themselves and then taking that information and trying to predict other information from it. But basically right now, MyDark has not said what efficiency is and how it works, or even slightly how it works for mining amplifiers. But I think that's okay for the moment. I mean, I really would like MyDark to actually tell us how, you know, basically what efficiency means for amplifiers. But if I have to make a prediction based on information that I have, I'm going to say, why don't we compare efficiency of amplifiers to efficiencies for weapons? Now, that might seem a little crazy, but no, because they've actually told us what efficient efficiency means. Mindark has told us what efficiency actually means for weapons, and that is it actually refers to TT value or TT return, trade terminal return. So the potential... Uh, for a weapon that has 100% efficiency, well, you get 7% uh, extra added on top of whatever your, re your re return. Now, 7% is not very much. It's 0 to 7%. But let me show you the original post that I'm talking about, and I'm going to extrapolate using that. Okay, I'm not going to go too crazy here. Back in September of 2017, uh, this is an official Mind Dark post. Charlie on the Planet Calypso forums discussing loot uh, and how DPP, damage per peck, uh, compares to efficiency of a weapon. But I'm just going to use the second part of this. Efficiency directly affects average TT return by 0 to 7%. That's it. So if, and what that means is later that we've sort of sussed that out is that if a weapon is 100% efficient, it can have up to a, there can be a 7% increase in your loot return because of the 100% efficiency. That's it. That's all of what we're saying here. And that's the whole pre premise. The whole premise of what I'm trying to get after is that if a, this works for a weapon, then it should work the same for an amplifier, a mining finder amplifier. And why I say that is because why write write two different codes for things. You Maybe MyDark is that way, I don't know. Maybe they wrote two different codes, one for mining and one for uh, weapon efficiency, but I doubt it um, because it just doesn't seem to make a lot of efficiency sense, pun intended. And so I'm going to use that as the base argument here that the mining finder amplifiers that we can get, here we go, like I said, zero to 7% return. And we know there are finder amplifiers that have 100% efficiency, and that's the TerraMaster 10 and the level 13 amplifier. So let's look at that a little bit uh, before we go too far. Of course, we've got to go to the wiki. And once on the Wikipedia page, uh, I click on mining and then finder amplifiers, and then I sort the columns by decay. And the reason for that is very straightforward. As the decay increases, so does the efficiency, which makes this experiment a lot easier to work with. Because if they were all over the place, oh man, putting that into a spreadsheet would be a pain. In. But this is straightforward, so it's going to make actually creating uh, some interesting data, getting a curve out of it, hopefully getting an equation for that curve, and utilizing that to see if we can get more information about how as the efficiency increases of a mining finder amplifier, how that zero to 7% applies. And if, can we get any information out of it that will help us when we're mining down the road? Which amplifiers are better? Which ones are worse? When does the threshold change? 
Okay, here's the technical part, the spreadsheet. I've listed the names of the amplifiers and their efficiencies in ascending order. That's how they are put into the spreadsheet, which is, makes sense to me. And from basically no efficiency to 100% efficient, which is the level 13 finder amplifier and the Terra 10 amp. And if we use that information from Mindark saying, the potential for 0 to 7% contribution to TT return, average TT return, the, po the max you can possibly get would be 7%. And that's what I'm going after. That's our, the only data that we have is it's, it can't exceed 7%, right? And so if we just say, boom, here's what 7% looks like, and what is that contribution? And how do we, basically, how do we calculate that contribution? Uh, based on the 32 different efficiencies that we have. And the only thing that I, I, can, I can do is take the efficiencies and the types of, and the classes of those, meaning how many of them, uh, I'm sorry, 31 efficiencies, and how do I take those and I divide them into what I want to call, uh, you know, equal distribution. So basically 0 to 7%, max is 7, so... 31 different efficiencies divided, uh, 7 divided by 31 times 100, or divided by 100 to get a percentage, so to speak, percentage. And this is the curve that we get of contribution versus efficiency class. And it's interesting because it's actually a natural log is the only, um, it's the only equation that fits, not a log base 10, a log base 8. I get that that would be challenging. But log base 10 would seem reasonable, but we only get a natural log. And sadly, some of those numbers are negative. And that's because the R squared value of this is only 0.97. So for those of you who are nerding out like I am, we're going to get some negative values. That is really just simply because the equation isn't as wholly accurate. Those negative numbers, those negative 5 or 0 0.0045, those five values are negative, but they're basically zero. Uh, using the equation, but I'm not going to do it that way. I'm not going to use the equation because I think there is a better way to put this into perspective. Remind you, this is just a thought experiment. This is uh, what Pig Ben has called theory craft. I call it hypothesis craft. I'm just trying to take information that I have and put it into some semblance of order that I can understand, and then I can make predictions. That's it. It's just a hypothesis. And is, you know, if there's a pattern and so forth. And so what I'm looking for is the calculated contribution for the efficiency and how much of that is going to contribute itself to the amp decay, right? And so in this instance, we're looking at, you know, level one finder amplifier light. It has a decay of 0.25 and how much it's 0 0.005 of a peck is the contribution, right? And this is how I did the calculation, I'm just so you can see it. Uh, I, you can pause it any time in the video, look at what I've done here. But looking at that, what is that 0 0.0005? It's such a minuscule amount being a contribution to uh, basically at almost at the zero percent level. But when you go all the way up to the Terra 13, or sorry, the Terra 10 and then the level 13 amplifier, well, that's 1.4 PED right? That's the contribution. Uh, and given that that's the only thing that we can work with, we want to then look at the amp decay plus the contribution. And so if you were to get 7%, that total 7% uh, extra average TT return um, on your, your best uh, amplifier, the Terra 10 or the level 13, it would be 21.4 PED contribution uh, to a claim, right? And that would be the number that you could hit a multiplier on. And most of the time, the multiplier is one, two, three, you know, four as I'm going through here. And so it, in the instance of really low level amplifiers, oh, well, that contribution is not even a peck. Even though it's rounded here in the 1x column, it really, well, it's two, you know, it's 0 0.056, so half a peck. But Mindart keeps track of those numbers to at least four digits so four decimal places so i think that's important even though i've i haven't shown that here so that everything fits on the screen so you can see it uh mind dark does keep track of those numbers and then of course i went as far as to go let's see what the 10x looks like and then next to it is what 
what does the multiplier have to be to get a global? So what is that? And in, in this instance, it's just 50 uh, divided by whatever the efficiency is, and that'll get you, um, uh, or uh, not the efficiency, but the, uh, the decay, right? And so that'll get you the information that you're looking for. So maybe it's almost 200 multiplier to get a global on a level one finder amplifier, but if you look down at the bottom, you can see, well, actually, it's really 2.34 uh, multiplier to get a global for a level 13 finder amplifier or a Terra 10. And what is v important about this is you still don't see a lot of globals with those amps. Just regular mining. Why? Because if it's just a 1x, it's 21 point, you know, 4 uh, and some change, right? But 2x is... 42.8 right and then finally when you hit the global threshold it's a little over a two multiplier which indicates to me interestingly enough that the multipliers that we talk about as being whole numbers when we're playing we're streaming we're making videos or whatever they're not whole numbers i think the multiplier is a fractional multiplier but it starts at a at a whole number and then something's added on to, to it or there's some contribution uh it may not be, you know, maybe I'm wrong about this. Maybe they are whole numbers, but the data doesn't seem to push that direction. It seems to push toward it being a, um, a fraction, a fractional number. And this data here helps a lot in seeing what contribution each one of those amplifiers and uh, the, the efficiency, what that efficiency can contribute. So obviously in the low level ones, it doesn't seem to add very much other than the single value of the decay. That 0 to 7% doesn't add a whole lot of actual PED value to be multiplied. It's fractional. Only once you get into the Terra 9, level 13, Terra 10, do you see actual larger numbers, like more than a PED. Contribu contribution to a claim that can be multiplied by a multiplier. That's all I'm, I'm getting after. That seems to be the way, based on the data, to look at efficiency. And I hope that you're, see, you're not thinking, oh, Sturge, you've gone off the rails here. It's the only information we have, and I think the discussion should start here. Uh, here I'm just out mining around, you know, I love to do border mining. But I think this is the, this is the data that we can use to begin to have a realistic conversation about what efficiency is until Mindark says, hey, this is really what efficiency is for mining finder amplifiers. And this video is really just an extension of the level three amplifier series that I was doing. And the data that I acquired doing those videos, even though I recorded many more than I actually posted, that's okay. Uh, it was That's supposed to be for fun to see results, to, to see how things, play out when you're using different size amplifiers. We always get to see this when Bunker 3 is mining on his streams. He uses everything from what level 5s all the way up to level 13s. But I think lately it's been like level 13s. Uh, the same thing if you watch uh, like Dorky at Dorky TV, link in the description. Uh, and uh, I think Red D as well is showing a lot of amplifier mining and we can learn something from that data. But you kind of have to, well, you really, I shouldn't say kind of, you need to pay attention. In mining in the Eutropia universe is one of the most profitable things that you can do. And so uh, we talk about the extension of the profitable mining series that I did, episode 23 and episode 24 of that were about the, the equation for a claim and what an amplifier can contribute to that equation and I don't know that I wholly got it right I doubt that I did uh, but I'm trying to get as much information as I can and I'm letting the data push me in a specific direction because you know once I understand how this works even better uh, I can probably uh, you know do a little bit more mining and be a little bit more efficient and hopefully keep my ped a little bit longer than I have been keeping it Okay, it's time to wrap this up. It's going on long enough. All the nerdy stuff aside, right? It's always good to nerd out on the game, but it's also good to have fun. So I hope this was informative. hope it opens up the discussion. 
and that we could all talk on the discords and or even in the comment section of this video let me know what you think and if you have some other theory craft hypothesis craft that can be contributed to this and actually data to contribute to this uh this particular hypothesis but i thank you all for watching and taking the time to uh subscribe a lot of new subscribers you are very welcome here and everyone who's comments i really appreciate the comments it helps me a lot keep my keep on my toes keep making videos so this is sturge signing off until the next mining video ciao for now